afternoon. I hope that everything's all right. Can I ask you some questions? Good afternoon. Sure. Yeah, sure. How did you become a refugee? Well, I'm a political refugee, uh, so um, I had some problems in my own country, and uh, um, I have to run away. Refugee is not a good word for me. I like to be seen as a person who has high hopes for her life. And in the country I was, there were some problems that could affect me, my family and my fortune. What type of troubles? Uh, I had some thoughts about the politics in my country uh, that weren't accepted by the government. I started some manifestations about it and a lot of people agreed with me and joined the cause. It started to become a huge problem for the government. They don't like different types of views and different opinions. And when they saw lots of supporters, they became angry, so they started to pursue me. Pursue you? How? Oh. I started to have a feeling that I was being observed and followed. There were eyes everywhere. <laughs> I couldn't cross the street without getting that feeling. It was consuming me. Me and my family have developed a whole industry that depends on the negotiations with other countries. And all this war in my country has destroyed the negotiations with the rest of Europe. How has that affected your life and changed it? It affected our quality of life. We were used to a certain level of living and completely off of the blue, the whole situation changed. As you imagine, it wasn't good feel. When you start to feel that all of your steps are being controlled, your mind just goes crazy. I began to see people, but there was no one. The fear of finding someone around the corner that would hurt me, or worse, it's just terrifying. What made you finally leave? They shot me in a manifestation. Threats were sent to my house. I couldn't leave like that, so I got a passport and I ran away. The situation was no longer acceptable. No one deserves to be treated like that. In fact, my family wasn't willing to live in such conditions. We wanted more. That's why we decided to leave and find a country where our voices were listened and our interests were defended. Do you feel like the humanity is forgetting about all the rights it has established? Guess that now, humanity is a word that has no longer sense. Everybody is fighting for their goals and teamwork is so rare these days. Now it's just ridiculous to the thought of a world without freedom. And I mean freedom in all its meanings. Because freedom is more than the right to vote or be able to express ourselves in social media. Freedom is fighting for our ideals, dreams, religion, but keeping in mind that our freedom ends when the next starts. Of course it is. It's important to have our mindset about our opinions and dreams and we can't let anybody tell us what to do. We have to embrace our thoughts and ideas and fight for them. No one can mess with my family or my friends. I have to do what is right and I will not let nobody uh, defeat my dreams because that's what I want. I hope that this interview can open some minds. Yeah.